Good evening, friends. Stephen Bernou with Israeli News Live. As you can see right now, the president of Iran boarding uh, one of their uh, airliners there to head to Moscow to meet with President Putin. And uh, this is a, a, a growing concern in Washington right now is the relationship between Iran and that of, uh, the, of Russia, President Putin and the, uh, the Iranian president meeting there uh, to discuss closer relationships, closer ties. In fact, tonight, uh, of course, we see this here. This is President Rouhani, the former president of Iran, the new president actually boarding the plane there to go and meet uh, President Putin. Now, this comes on the heels of uh, several things here. They got uh, the plan of joint naval drills between Iran uh, and uh, Shanghai there with China. Uh, Russia, China, and Iran going to be participating in Navy drills. That's, those fleets there are going to be leaving out of uh, Vladivostok, I believe, the port there in Russia. And that, those ties are really become, are causing a lot of alarms, you know, especially in Washington. And in fact, tonight, as we speak, you're not aware of this, but there is a Joint Chiefs of Staff meeting tonight regarding the situation with Russia. Uh, I'm not really sure what the details of that meeting are right now, whether it's Ukraine and Russia or whether it's uh, Russia and the growing ties with Iran. I do know that there is grave concern about the ties uh, really intensifying between Russia and Iran faster than what were uh, originally told to me that would happen. And so uh, this is a situation that could easily spiral out of control there and uh, could could really turn into a, a, a major mess there in the Middle East. In fact, the Pentagon has been working on war game scenarios uh, in the event we were to get into some type of altercation with Russia and Iran. And one thing that they have determined already is that Iran would strike Israel if there was any type of war that broke out between uh, the three nations, and uh, they do believe that Iran would use tactical nukes on Israel, if not all-out, full-blown nuclear weapons on Israel. So a lot of things are going on right now, and also I found interesting too, and this was a telephone conversation with President uh, of Azerbaijan, uh, Hiram uh, Aliyev, who actually initiated the, the uh, phone call with Vladimir Putin, the President of Russia. And uh, of course, uh, Kazakhstan, that, that they were involved in this, talking about the situation in Ukraine. And of course, if you look at the map, I thought it was kind of interesting. Azerbaijan, uh, if, you, if you recall not too long ago, Azerbaijan did a war against Armenia and uh, really decimated the Armenian people there. Uh, Russia kind of stepped in there to try to bring peace there, but Russia's building their ties with our Azerbaijan. We know the United States has a strong foothold in Georgia, everything right there on Russia's southern border. But as well, I think the reason why the ties with Azerbaijan are, are intensifying is because the United States could use Georgia uh, cutting across Azerbaijan to attack Iran in a battle there. Uh, then you also have uh, Russia increasing uh, ties with Kazakhstan. Uh, another interesting thing that is going on. So we've got quite a few things that are happening there in the Middle East, and I don't know which way these things are going to end up going, uh, but we are keeping an eye out over, over here from this part of the world on these things as, uh, as these things develop. I know the Jus Jerusalem Post is reporting that this relationship there could really change a lot of things in the Middle East there as uh, a couple of places are marked here. These are important talks. Russia is calling on the U.S. not to, well, there we go again, messes up every time I try to do it here. Uh, the U.S. is uh, not to supply weapons to Ukraine, and Turkey is offering to host Russia-Ukraine talks. This means that Iran's visit is a part of a larger Russian policy that stretches from Europe to the Middle East. Tehran sees Moscow as a key partner along with Beijing in its quest for more power. Further down in the article, it says, in this regard, Former ambassador of Iran, Moscow, Mohammad Rizi uh, Sayadi, said in an interview with Fars News Agency about this trip, the opportunities face in Iran and Russia. I find this trip very useful, even necessary at this time. Uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the eight years we have uh, suffered from political 
uh, extremism in which we thought were, were only four or five countries in the world, and we did not realize that we should have balanced foreign policy with other countries, and especially to develop relationships with our neighbors and recognize other countries as effective and fuse, uh, useful in our relationships. Of course, he's talking about Russia, so he's talking about, and, uh, you know, and now that they're really trying to forge that ties there, which would completely change the Middle East altogether. And if you remember, one of the intel things I'd shared with you guys a little while back is that uh, we are looking at a situation of, uh, uh, in the near future, as China tries to push the United States out of the Pacific region there, and uh, say, in, in the case of Taiwan, which I'm going to try to get an update on Taiwan, China was supposed to take Taiwan down by Christmas, when Christmas New Year, that has not happened, so I do not know what... Uh, where, where the intel is on that at this point here. Of course, wars are always fluid. And the other thing was uh, that we would be pushed out of the Philippines, etc., other places like that. Then the focus would turn to the Middle East, uh, China pushing out the United States out of the Middle East. Now, Russia may, uh, along with Iran, very much get involved in that battle right there. And of course, what is this all about? It is about the New World Order. Uh, I am going to be uh, working on the video on that, uh, about the New World Order, about Neom City, about the Silk Road Initiative, about the Antichrist, uh, how this plays in with Ra, the, uh, the alien uh, uh, that claims to be the Ra, the god, the god of Egypt, the sun god of Egypt, how that plays in with Nimrod, the Saudis, and the Saudis financing the resurrection of the body of Nimrod. So, yeah, some pretty crazy things going on. I mean, that may or may not be over on Patreon. I haven't decided yet where I'm going to air that at, just depending on what information I decide to release in that particular video. Anyway, thank you for listening. I apologize for the rapid uh, part of this broadcast. Again, though, right now the Joint Chiefs of Staff are meeting in regards to Russia. have to see what happens there. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.